Hey Scorpio, it's Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana. And this is a reading for you for the next, I don't know, 30 days or so. Just depends on you and your journey and what's going on with you. You may see yourself anywhere in this reading. You may not. Um, if you do, do know that this is not a reading for you. This is a general reading for the collective of Scorpio. And this is not a personal reading. So uh, if you need any kind of confirmation, clarity, understanding, wisdom, guidance, um, please contact your favorite tarot card reader and uh, get your cards read for your own personal journey, okay? If you want a reading from me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. Link in the box below. Okay, Scorpio, let's get into this. So I've done things a little bit differently. I have purchased... Um, a tarot card deck called the Numerology of Tarot. It's actually, yeah, numerology guidance cards for tarot, okay? And I love them. If y'all don't know, uh, tarot is rooted in numerology. There would be no tarot if it wasn't for numerology. So I am a huge fan of numerology, and I have um, purchased these cards. Normally, I put a card in the center of the reading, and the reading revolves around that card, right? Well, this time I'm using these, these numerology cards as the center point in the reading. The card that you guys got for the center of your reading is card number 16, and it's called Rebirth. I want to point out that if we add a 1 and a 6, it's a 7. 7 is the number of reflection and assessment. 7 is the number of, of contemplating what it is that we're investing our time and our efforts into. Card number 16, called Rebirth in this deck, is the center of your reading. This entire reading revolves around the meaning of this card. Let's read it, okay? Card number 16, Rebirth. This card indicates a time of major transition and transformation that will, re that will result in significant personal growth. By drawing this card, you have entered a period of spiritual awakening and rebirth, where you have the opportunity to align with your higher self and the overarching principles that guide you. This is where you surrender to the changes around you and prepare to be the best that you can be. You are being encouraged to trust and believe that a magical future awaits, but first you need to let go of the old in order to experience the new. Take time to reevaluate your core values and re-examine your life. Then eliminate any superficial foundations that don't align with your higher self and your dreams. This is a time to recognize and rise above any ego-based thoughts and behaviors, for humanity and authenticity are the keys to your success. In order to improve your current situation, you're being asked to adjust to and harmonize with the natural rhythm and cycles of your life, cycles that are leading you towards a higher level of understanding and awareness. This transformation is inevitable, so know that this very exciting time for you are about to become the best that you can be. That is the center of your reading, Scorpio. Now, let's jump in and do your reading. All right. So, Scorpio, you open up with the Queen of Cups in reverse to, I'm sorry, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse to the Two of Cups in reverse. What does this mean? Well, the Queen of Pentacles upright is somebody who holds title in your life. The Queen of Pentacles upright is about security, comfort. It's about home. It's about family. The Queen of Pentacles has her car in the garage, her socks on the floor, and the electric bill in her name. That's the title that this person holds in your life. In the reverse, it means that this person has lost that title. This person no longer holds position in your life. Two, the Two of Cups in reverse. This represents that this relationship is broken. Okay, there was a breakup or a disconnect, a discontinuance of some kind of significant relationship in your life. followed by the Queen of Cups to the Empress. This tells me that even though that there is a disconnect in this relationship, even though this person does not hold 
um, title or position in your life anymore, you still have major feelings for this person with the Queen of Cups, okay? You still have major feelings for this person. To the Empress, this person is somebody that you see as the be-all to end-all. Okay, this person that you still hold feelings for is someone that you want to create abundance with, somebody that you hold in very high regard. And I want to say that there could be an age difference. This person that represents the Empress, there's no gender, okay? There's no genitals running around in, in the tarot cards, right? It's kind of like Barbie and Ken, <laughs> right? There's masculine and there's feminine, but there's no distinct assignment of gender to these cards. So the Empress represents somebody that you want to build abundance with, represents somebody that you hold in high regard. And I just get the intuitive feeling that this person could be, not always, but could be slightly older than you. Okay. So there was a disconnect. This person at one point held title in your life. There was a misalignment of values and a breakup, but you still hold this person in high regard and you still have feelings for this person. The Princess of Pentacles tells me that you want to manifest, right? You want to manifest something with this person to the five of swords in reverse. This is about being open to change, right? Because there was at one point a lot of conflict, a lot of conflict, maybe some betrayal, maybe some deceit, right? Mind games, you know, all the stuff that goes on with a breakup. At some point there was that, but you want to break free from all of that. You want to break free from the disconnection in the Two of Cups in reverse, and you want to manifest something with this person. The Seven of Pentacles tells me that you've done a lot of reflecting and assessing on what it is that you've invested your time and effort into in the past and what it is that you want to invest your time and effort into in the future. To the Three of Pentacles. You want some teamwork, some collaboration. You want to collaborate with this person who used to hold title in your life but does not anymore, that you still have feelings for, that you still hold in high regard. You want to manifest something with this person. You've been giving a lot of thought to what it is that you're investing in, what you want to invest in, and what your future looks like. You want some collaboration with this person. Then we have a whole bunch of little clarifying cards, right? What these cards say is that although you want to manifest some kind of collaboration with this person, the Four of Pentacles in reverse tells me that you are um, in self-protection mode, right? Self-protection, because whatever happened here in the past between the two of you, it hurt you, okay? It did. It hurt you, and you are in self-protection mode. Needing to pull on some strength, okay? Major Arcana, you have the strength to do this. It's not that you need to have strength. You do have the strength to do this. The Queen of Swords, some truth needs to be spoken. Some truth, you want to speak truth between you and this other person. You want some truth to be spoken about this lost opportunity that happened between the two of you. You want to speak some truth about this lost opportunity. The devil card comes in. This is the second lover's card in the deck, okay? You see those two down there? They are lovers, and they are attached to the foot of the devil, okay? What does this mean? This means to me, based on all of these cards around it, that this is an attachment that you can't quite break. There was toxicity in the relationship. There is still toxicity in the relationship. Um, toxicity that you want to clean up, right? You want to clean up the toxicity and turn this, this toxic connection into a real lover's connection, okay? You want to take the toxicity that is surrounding this relationship and you want to manifest something new, okay? You want to wipe the slate clean and get rid of the toxicity and manifest a new opportunity with this person, with the Page of Pentacles. 
the King of Pentacles, right? This card speaks to me in several different ways. Either this King of Pentacles represents husband material, okay? Um, this is the card of Taurus. This card either represents husband material or represents that you want to be husband material or represents that 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 resolving the issues between the two of you is going to bring you a sense of power and control and success. This card is about ambitions and long-term goals, right? And that is the whole energy behind your desire to manifest um, with this person that there is a disconnect with. The Nine of Cups. You see this situation as potentially wishes fulfilled. Comfort, happiness, and satisfaction. The fulfillment of your wishes is to definitely um, bring this, this situation out of toxicity and into a place of peace. The Ten of Swords, right? It's, it's dead and gone. It has been killed in the past. It's been ended. It's been put to bed. And it has been maybe over for a good long minute. But you still hold feelings for this person. And you still want... Um, you still want a connection with this person somehow, some way. You've been reflecting and assessing on it for a long time, but you feel really insecure because there is, uh, it is enmeshed in some, in some toxicity. The world, to the alchemist, to the prince of cups. There is a cycle change approaching, okay? A definite cycle change approaching. You have no control over it. What you do with it, you have control over. But the fact that the cycle is ending and a new one is beginning is irrelevant to you, Scorpio. It's happening whether you like it or not. What you do with this cycle change is completely and totally up to you. This cycle change with the world card is initiated by your desire to change the dynamics of the relationship. That's the initiation, the initiator of the cycle change. Now the cycle is going, it's changing. What you do with it is up to you. To the magician, manifesting, right? You want to manifest the exchange of emotions with this person. You are using all of your resources and you are, are, are creating, you are manifesting a change in this relationship to the Prince of Cups. This is somebody that is in touch with their emotions and their intuition and they are prepared to share both with somebody else. So you are manifesting the sharing of emotions between the two of you. Because remember, rebirth is in the center of your reading. Some kind of massive transformation is happening within you, Scorpio. The Empress in reverse. Now remember, you see this person as the Empress upright in the top row. But now this person is presenting as the Empress in reverse. What does this mean? Well, the Empress upright is straight up creation, right? Creation and abundance, just beautiful creation. The Empress in Reverse talks about no creation, a creative block, zero creation happening. But she's clarified by the wheel. This is a turning point because you've manifested this change in this relationship, Scorpio. You've manifested it. Now the cycle of life is changing because your thoughts and perceptions of life have changed, right? And you are now manifesting um, this empress into your life. There is a creative blockage right now with the empress in reverse. Nothing is being created between the two of you. But the Wheel of Fortune comes on top of it and talks about a turning point. There will be a turning point in this relationship. There will be a turning point in your life, their life, and the situation. What direction that turning point goes in is all about free will. Nobody can tell you what direction that this is going to go in. There's a lot of free will involved here. What does this person think about you? What does this person think about the situation, right? The only thing that's guaranteed is that there will be a turning point in this situation based on what you have manifested into your life. 
Five of Wands in reverse. This is an increased focus on your goals. What's your goal, Scorpio? The Ten of Cups. That's your goal. The Ten of Cups is a harmonious, happy relationship that has values alignment, that you can move into the structure of your future um, um, in, right? You can move into your future in a Ten of Cups relationship. Increased focus on goals is a Ten of Cups relationship with this Empress. The Three of Wands in reverse comes in and talks about a lack of foresight though, right? You're not really sure how to go about actually implementing this change in the situation. Not real sure how to go about doing it. Why? Because, hold on, because, because, hold on. Two of Cups in reverse. It's again, Two of Cups in reverse. Since the breakup of this relationship in your life, since the breakage of the disconnection of this relationship in your life, Five of Cups in reverse. You're not sure if this person has moved on to the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. You're not sure if this is just simply a lost opportunity. You have no idea if this person would even entertain you. You have no idea if this person even wants to, to bury the hatchet, let alone re-engage in some kind of a relationship with you. Death in reverse talks about a personal transformation to the King of Wands, success and achievement. What this tells me on top of the Two of Cups and the Five of Cups is that you are concerned that since the breakup, this person has moved on, that they have had a transformation into success and achievement in another relationship, okay? This also tells me that since the breakup between the two of you, that you are concerned this person has already moved on, but you have had a personal transformation, you being the King of Wands, Scorpio. Could go either way. Half of one, six of the other, right? Half a dozen of one, six of the other. Lost opportunity. Is this a lost opportunity? Is it? To the nine of wands in reverse, you're defensive. You're a little bit hesitant to move forward into creating something, into removing the creative block with this person because you don't, you don't know truly if it's really a lost opportunity or not. But the ace of wands comes in and says that you want to take inspired action to create um, a a a a passionate new beginning with this person. Eight of Swords in reverse. Have they released this? Have they released this? You don't know. And you're concerned, right? Because you, you don't know. You don't know if you're walking into a, uh, to like straight up rejection or not. And it concerns you. This card, the Eight of Swords in Reverse, is about releasing, releasing the mental. Have they released you? Have they released this, right? This card is also about you releasing the mental turmoil that you're in about whether this is good, whether this is bad. Is this good? Is this bad? Is this going to make? Is this not going to make? Are they with someone? Or are they not with some? Have they moved on or have they not moved on? Is this truly a lost opportunity or is there hope here? That's what this Eight of Swords in Reverse is about. To the Three of Cups, reuniting, right? That's the objective. That's your objective in the rebirth of this situation is reuniting with this person. To the Knight of Swords in reverse and the Five of Cups in reverse. Knight of Swords in reverse tells me that you have a disregard for consequences. So you've gone through all of this, right? You've gone through the mental imprisonment of the Eight of Swords upright, constantly thinking, thinking about change, thinking about action, thinking about movement. To the Eight in reverse, releasing that mental, 
right? Releasing that mental because you do want to reunite with this person and you are going to go forward with a disregard for consequences, right? A disregard for consequences. Um, whether they've moved on or not, you want, you want forgiveness in this relationship, right? Whether you need forgiveness, they need forgiveness, or the whole damn thing just needs to be forgiven. You're going to move forward with a disregard for consequences because that's how important this is to you, Scorpio. You just want it settled once and for all so you know where you stand. The King of Pentacles, again, right? This is either you wanting to be husband material to this person. This is potentially this you wanting this person to be husband material for you. This is about your control, your power, sitting in the throne of your power. This card is about long-term goals and ambitions. Put it where it fits. To the lover's card, right? You want a significant relationship with this person. Okay, I'm not going to say you want a love relationship with this person because this could be anything. This could be family. This could be mom. This could be dad. This could be brothers and sisters. It could be anything, right? But you want the reinstatement of this significant relationship in your life. To the, um, the moon in reverse, this is releasing fear. This is having repressed emotions that have never been cleared out. And this is releasing the fear to clear out those emotions because you want a significant relationship with this person. Long-term goals, ambitions, power, control. You, you, you want to reestablish this relationship. Hold on, Scorps. Hold on. It's coming. Nine of Cups in, re in reverse. Dissatisfaction. Okay? Greed, materialism. Dissatisfaction. To the Ace of Swords. You now have some absolute mental clarity, Scorpio, about what the problem was in the first place. At least you think you do. You have some absolute mental clarity about what the problem was. The Six of Wands in reverse. The fall from grace. The state of disrepute. You have some absolute mental clarity about what happened between the two of you. And the Seven of Wands in reverse. Giving up. You have absolute mental clarity of why this relationship was given up on in the first place. Eight of Cups, why it was disappointing, why one or the other or both of you walked away. You have absolute mental clarity. The Chariot, so much so that you are going to move forward with, with kinetic momentum, action. You are going to take action and roll towards the, the salvaging of this relationship. Seven of Wands in reverse, right? Scared. This is about feeling overwhelmed, right? Feeling a bit overwhelmed in your emotions. To the Ten of Wands in reverse, avoiding responsibility. Okay, so avoiding responsibility, overwhelming, right? Um, avoiding the responsibility. To the Six of Wands in reverse of the fall from grace and the state of disrepute. Avoiding the responsibility of the breakdown of emotional communication, right? This tells me that you are moving forward because you are, you are no longer avoiding responsibility. You no longer have questions in your head of why this happened, how this happened, what was the root of all of this. You have some mental clarity as to why and how this all played out the way that it did. And you're moving forward, right? You're, you're overwhelmed with the Seven of Wands in reverse. Um, with the avoidance of responsibility, okay? The, the responsibility, the avoidance of responsibility being 
Um, I feel perhaps you guys just went two different ways and nothing was ever resolved. Or perhaps, Scorpio, maybe you're responsible for this somehow, some way. And you've been avoiding the responsibility of, of, of taking this whole situation head on and, and getting some closure to it. It just depends on your journey. This is a general reading. Instead of the who, what, where, why, and when, I'm sequestered to the if, ands, or buts, right? I don't know what this is because this is a general kind of thing. But these cards tell me that you are coming to an understanding of what happened between the two of you and you want to take some action to make it right. Look, the King of Swords. This is not just making a decision, but this is executing a decision. This is also speaking some serious truth to the, to the fool. A new beginning and a new journey. A quantum leap of faith is what you're about to embark upon, Scorpio, in regards to this whole relationship. Hence, rebirth. This is an emotional rebirth, the Fool card. To the Three of Swords, coming out of pain, having optimism and forgiveness is where you're headed on this journey with the Fool. To the Lover's card, to create a love relationship, to create a significant relationship in your life, recreate a significant relationship in your life, Scorpio, to make amends, to seek forgiveness, and to make amends for whatever happened in this situation. Justice in reverse, right? You are going to fix a grievous injustice that happened between the two of you. Maybe there was misunderstandings. Maybe you guys have never even talked about what happened between the two of you. Um, I kind of get the feeling here, Scorpio, that you haven't talked about what happened between the two of you. Um, like I said, whether it's love or family or friends, whatever this is, I feel like there has never been closure. You've never, this person thinks this happened, this person thinks this happened, and y'all are going on your separate ways with misunderstandings. I think that's what I want to say. I think this whole thing is a misunderstanding that you're trying to make right. Injustice says that there was an injustice right? This is dishonesty, unfairness, a lack of accountability is what this card is about. But you're fixing to change all that, Scorpio. You're fixing to bring accountability into this whole situation strong. The Ten of Pentacles, right? Family, home, wealth, establishment, foundation, success, building of the future. That's what you intend to achieve from seeking forgiveness, giving forgiveness in this situation, reaching out and communicating. You have nothing to lose and everything to gain, Scorpio. To the chariot, movement, action, rolling out, moving towards your goal. That's what this card is about. To the knight of wands, taking inspired action. To the Nine of Pentacles, to bring all of the bullshit to a culmination and have an absolute rebirth in the situation. Whether it's good, whether it's bad, Scorpio, I feel like you just want some damn closure. You just want some closure. You just want to understand where you stand and if you should put any more energetic effort into this situation or not, one way or another you are on the precipice of having a massive rebirth in this situation, Scorpio. Massive rebirth. Spirit, I have some dice right here. I have some dice and I'm going to roll them just, just for fun. Don't take this to the bank. Don't cash this check, okay, Scorpio? But I just want to know, Spirit, how long is it going to take? Whoa, hold on. I dropped him. <laughs> okay, Spirit, how long is it going to take Scorpio to come to the last chariot right here? To come to this chariot. Spirit, how long is it going to take Scorpio to roll out, to take some inspired action, to bring all of this to a culmination one way or another? Spirit, how long is it going to take Scorpio to do this? We have double fours 
an eight. Four. Four is the number of structure, foundation, stability, coming out of stagnation, manifesting in formation. You have double fours, okay? Four plus four is eight, right? Eight, movement, action, change, rebirth, accomplishment, success, and attainment. Yes, I have my numerology cheat sheet there, okay? Um, so, eight, movement, action, rebirth, accomplishment, success. So, eight. Um, this is eight days. This is eight weeks. This is the eighth day of the next month. This is the month eight. Okay, something to do with eight here is um, is how you're going to move forward. So eight, interesting. Let's think about this, eight. So this could be eight days. This could be eight weeks. This could be eight months. This could be the eighth day of the next month. This could be month number eight. Okay? All right. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Let's do a closing card real quick. Okay? Let's do a closing card. This is the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck. And I just want to do just a closing card here. Look at that. You are not going to believe this. Card number eight. I shit you not, Scorpio. Card number eight. And it's interesting to me. Look, 16. Oh, it's eight plus eight. 16. Interesting. Something to do with eight, Scorpio. What's up with that? So we have card number eight, accelerated motion. Let's read this card real quick. Accelerated motion. Card number eight. Hold on. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold on, Scorpio. I got to find it. I didn't plan on doing that, right? Eight. Hold on. There's. Hold on. Eight. Trapped in fear. Hold on. It's going to be the last one I get to. There we are. Accelerated motion. Bear with me just a second here. So accelerated motion. This card represents speed, flight, swift movement, hope, passion, and above all, endings to delays. The conditions around you are perfect and appear to be rapidly heading in the direction of your goals and desires. Luck is on your side and your enthusiasm is at an all-time high. Brace yourself as you finally witness the manifestation of what you worked for and visualized. This is a call for initiative, but you should also ask yourself, is there anything else in my life that I need to act on now? Be wise and take advantage of these ideal conditions. Now isn't the time for you to fight against the river of life. Trust, have faith, and go with the flow. The strong current is taking you to a positive outcome and future. That is, I mean, the synchronicity. It's just amazing. So we got eight in the dice. We have eight as your outcome card. We have eight plus eight is 16 in the center of your reading. I'm going to do something just really cool here. Bear with me, Scorpio, okay? I'm going to count these cards. I just want to see if there's synchronicity. Bear with me. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. 24, 25, hold on, Scorpio, I've got something going on here, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58. 5 plus 8. Let's see, that's 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 1 plus 3 is 4. 
for structure, foundation, stability, manifestation, um, manifesting out of stagnation and formation. Okay. That was the number four. And the dice that came out, the dice that came out were double fours. Interesting, right? Anyhow, that is your reading, Scorpio. I hope it helped you. I hope it uh, gave you some kind of confidence, clarification, something that you can um, use to help you navigate your way through this particular journey in your life. If you would like your cards read for your situation, your specific um, circumstances, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. Link in the box below. Namaste.